Mm -hmm. And you're good at it. Thank you. I've always loved to bake. And so, you know, with the, the birthday party over the weekend, the day of the birthday, I'm in my kitchen making from scratch homemade cream cheese frosting. We got the cookies. We got the cupcakes. We've got the double layer cake. All the things. All the things. So it reminded me of a time back in the day when I had an easy bake oven. I had one, y'all. Oh, I loved my Easy Bake Oven. And it came with basically pre-mixed little pouches. You're cooking by light bulb. That's essentially right. how the Easy Bake Oven works. And we decided that we needed to get a little festive with, with what the Easy Bake Oven entailed. Yeah. I didn't do this with myself. So my mother, you know, adult supervision required. There was my mother present. So we had the brownie mix and we decided that we wanted to put M&Ms in the brownie mix. So we, you know, it's basically you're cooking in a little circle. If you've never used an Easy Bake Oven, it's a little circle is the baking tray and then you slide it in really close to the light bulb. So apparently the M&Ms just set it over the edge and it started to, you know, overflow. It then caught the light bulb on fire. So the Easy Bake Oven is now on fire. So my mom had to take the Easy Bake Oven and open the door from the kitchen to the outdoors and throw the Easy Bake Oven out outside and take oh the gosh. hose and hose down the Easy Bake Oven. Ruined. Ruined. The brownies were ruined, but needless to say, anytime we're baking, especially brownies, we go, did you put some M&Ms in there? Did you put some M&Ms in there? Because we needed to get a little fancy. Don't do that. You no. must follow the ingredients, especially back in the day when you had the original Easy Bake Oven. Do can you, you know? believe that? Yes, I can. <laughs> but do you know, when I was little, all I wanted what? was an Easy Bake Oven. Did you get one? No. I was told that was for girls. Oh. Well, they're for everybody. Well, hello. Now listen up here because you're not alone in this scenario of wanting an Easy Bake Oven and not getting one. So do you know Anthony from the show Queer Eye? He is a very famous chef, has best-selling cookbooks. Yeah. So he posted something over the, on the Instagram and I had to like it. I had to share it with my mom. I tagged her in the comments because I'm going, we need after our experience. We have to sign up for the show. So he posted on his Instagram, when I was a kid, I always wanted an Easy Bake Oven, but my utilitarian parents told me we already had a real oven. So as a grown up, I decided to fulfill my childhood dream and do a competition show about one, and it's coming to Netflix. Oh my gosh, and you need to be on it. Apparently I need to sign up. I need to figure out how to cook by light bulb in a more efficient manner so that it doesn't catch the whole unit on fire. But oh. other than that, I am there. Do you know what? Tell I me. just realized there were two things. Oh, <gasps> epiphany. There were two things when I was a kid that I did not get that I wanted. A horse. I was going to say a horse. And an easy bake oven. <laughs> and we have them both on the show today. What is this? We like are making all trauma. your dreams come true. <laughs> well, I'm just saying we're now fulfilling all the childhood dreams here on Hometown Living. I mean, we aim to please. Well, there you go. So whatever your hopes and dreams are, I'm sure you'll find it by tuning into our our show here on Hometown Living, but that is hysterical. But I, my Easy Bake Oven, I don't think we're, we replaced it. I think it was a one and done. And then we go, why don't we just use the real oven? I graduated I from yeah. the tiny little packet mixtures to a full-fledged boxed mix well, at that point. But we need to sign up for the show. Is it a is it a team a effort? I don't. I have nothing. I know nothing about we other than the fact out. I'm scrolling through the social media. I see Anthony, who I love, holding an Easy Bake Oven, saying that there's a competition show about one, and I'm going, "This all makes sense." Yep. Full circle. I'm doing this. If I don't I could, know what it entails. I don't even know if there's a prize to be won. Oh, there has to be. If I could bake some brownies on a horse, like while riding a horse, <laughs> I would be so happy. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick to eating the brownie on the horse. Keto brownies. Are there keto brownies? Okay, we digress. I don't know if you should eat on a horse. We have thoroughly digressed. I'm just thinking about like, you know, should I put M&Ms in the brownies or not? Is that going to be my award winning recipe or do I need to maybe put a pretzel in the brownie or a little oh. caramel swirl? I don't know what so many things I to need think about. To, to they've consider. upgraded. I don't know if any of you parents now have an easy bake oven, but I actually still want to know, are you cooking by light bulb? What is the heat source now of the Easy Bake Oven? Is it still light bulb? We'll have to investigate and get back to you. I'm going to get one. Amazon. I might need to get one for you. you I might, might have to keep this up here for a gift for you in the future. We could have it in our cubicle. Yes. <laughs> well, coming up, what